this camera is insane in low light because it is dark up here. Like I can't, I can't hardly see anything. Um, it is five in the morning. We are just pulling anchor. We're gonna head from St. Kitts, hopefully all the way to Guadalupe, which is a pretty big, that's like a full day almost. I think it's like 80 something miles. So we'll see if we make it that far. But if not, um, we're gonna go to Montserrat, which will be fun. Cruising, pregnant, kids, a dog, a husband. It's awesome. I love it. And on the days that I'm seasick, I'm like, I can either be bored in a house or I can be seasick on a boat on the ocean doing cool things every day. So I pick my battles. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. Because I want to be really quiet this morning because there's other anchors, other people anchoring. I'm going to use my engines to get us out of here. So I'm spinning us, port side forward, starboard side in reverse, and that spins us like this. See how we're spinning this way, just slowly, not in a hurry, and we'll get out of here. So as most of you know, we're taking Mermaid Monster, our Nordhaven 55 trawler, down the Caribbean chain for hurricane season, where she will chill for the summer months. I figured I'd just fill in any newbies to the show. We've also got a little boy on the way. We are so excited and pretty nervous for these upcoming months because just when you think life is smooth sailing, even though it has literally been rough as well, you know the ending to that sentence. We like to throw some more, let's say, salt into the mix. Spice it up a bit, complicate it, because, well, why not? Long runs though. Two, two long days. I think we did 90 some 90 miles today. We did 60 or 70 miles yesterday, right? That's because we don't want to navigate the COVID testing policy. It's just easier to check. Just because how, how the heck do you get a COVID test the day before you arrive when it takes you two days to get there? You don't. It's not possible. So. And we're not staying long enough to like make sense to like check in, so we're just in and out. We'll see how this is.
right, we've been cruising every day. We've been making uh, decent time, I think. Sleeping every night still. It's a little weird because we're only in the country for like nine hours. So it defeats the purpose of checking in. And sometimes I'm almost certain they still want you to check in. Like that's not an exception to not check in. Um, so what we've been doing is we've been just calling the Coast Guard and asking for favors. And if we can't get to the Coast Guard, we have, at least have the excuse that we tried. Um, I don't know if that's good enough, but it hasn't uh, failed us yet. Um, it's a shame that we can't stop at any of these islands though because I think there's a hot springs right on this island, right on the beach. Um, and it's supposed to be warm and not stinky. It'd be really fun to go to. After a good night's sleep and a calm anchorage, we got a head start out in the morning to make our way down for the rest of the trip to Dominica, where we would spend a few days exploring the lush green volcanic island. These next few clips are kind of long, but I know there's a lot of trawler and Nordhaven specific expedition yacht enthusiasts that are curious how these boats actually ride in not decently rough seas. We had a pretty big beam sea, luckily not on our head, but the stabilizers did their job and you can see that they handle pretty well. So I figured I'd let these clips run and you can sit back and enjoy watching the ride. If you don't care to see this, skip through to the, about the 10 minute mark.
Did you guys see it? Yeah. Did you see it? Brooke, did you see it? Yeah. Did you see it? What did you see? A green flash. It like it like came down and then went up. Like at least that's what I see on the film. All right. Good morning, everybody. We are here in Dominica, which is a small little island on the Caribbean chain, almost all the way to the bottom to Grenada. And we've chosen to stop here specifically for a couple of days for a few reasons. One, the check-in is incredibly easy. You anchor or use a mooring with pays and um, they come to you. And this is the weird part. I lost it on Brayden until I understood that this is just what you do. You give them your passport and your <laughs> boat registration and documents that they need. And then they take it and they go check you in and then they bring it back like an hour later. It sounds so sketchy, I would never give my passport out, but Brayden had already done it, and then I made him feel a weird about it after, like, what have you done? Anyway, it's all good. And then, the guys are incredibly nice here. Also, this island is lush, and friendly, and safe. So, we are going, we have a guy picking us up, and he's taking us to this jungly waterfall, and. It's our way of supporting the local t uh, economy too uh, by doing these tours. We, yes, we could go, you could go yourself and get a car and drive up there, but we're gonna support these guys and they can teach us about the land. And they're taking us to a waterfall we can swim in. And then tomorrow they're taking us up this Indian river. It spits out into the bay. And that's where they filmed a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean. So that'll be fun because we love Pirates of the Caribbean. And there's a market tomorrow that they do. They grow a lot of their own produce here. They have pineapples and mangoes and avocados and just like it's like lush, lush, lush. And let me go show you this. And the bay is full of life and there's whales out there and there's fish and it's just a really rad island. So come along with us for a day of adventure. Another night, I fall in your sight. Breadfruit. The breadfruit it tastes like a sweet potato. Yeah, I've never had breadfruit. You can roast it, you can um, boil it, you can fry it. And mangoes is coming up season now, so you can see the grafted mangoes to my right. Is there a lot of kids on the island? Yes. To our right also is another school. There's a bunch of kids, guys. Yeah. We're gonna send you to school. 
yeah look the purple and red um, um and other islands that we've been to a lot of times the kids once they get old enough they go to other countries and things like that did the kids stay here or did they end uh, up going away some 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 when you go okay. you go to to you uh, no, the uk like like morocco like cuba like oh, okay some other places the government send them because you can go even china even china yes wow yes. The government sent people all over the place. So the government sends them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they, do they come back? Yeah, yeah they, they come do back. come back, okay. They come back, yeah. So, so who, I mean, if you're hungry and you want chicken, you just grab one? They, anyone can grab them or what? Some, certain areas you can grab one. Okay. But certain areas, um, some people own them around the area. I see. So you just can't say, I need a chicken. You can't just grab whatever. Yeah. What about, um, uh, like some of the trees, they look like they're not belonging to anyone and they have papayas. Is it okay to pick those? I'm um, according to the area again. If it's on government land and they grow naturally, you can pick it. Okay. If it's private owned, sometimes you have to put as the, the owner. So if it's in front of someone's house, don't do it. Okay. What's that smell? Hermanos. Hermanos from the Philippines. She's a jungle lady. It's lemon grass, but listen to this type because you know. Hey, I put it in the tomato. Yeah, take it. It looks almost the same like it. We use it for cooking and for tea. It smells like citrus. Yeah. Why don't we get this and put it around her? It smells. You like that smell? Okay guys, the cooked bananas, what we call a plantain. Bananas? Plantain. It's not banana. It is plantain. When it's ripe, you have to boil it, fry it, or roast it. And we use it to make local wine on the island. Local wine? Yes, plantain wine. I know what you need.
Okay. Did you get some eggs? How many do we want? Two of them? What do you think of the grocery store? It's very clean. Very clean. Sparkling. Oh, yeah. You guys want these? Market day here in Portsmouth was an absolute blast. Despite it dumping buckets of rain on us, we were able to take home an abundance of fruits and veg to cook for our upcoming cruises. You guys, you guys have a mission what you're going to buy? Or? No. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and leave us a comment below. We will see you all next week in another country. You'll be just fine.